What's up everybody, Typical Gamer here. I'm here with a guide on how to build the Acid Gat Kit. And um, I'm going to show the location. There's like uh, three possible locations for the first item. You can only get the item once, but these are the three places it can spawn. The first one's right outside of the library. Uh, very easy and clear. I try to make this as easy and clear as possible to see. Uh, the next possible location is a bit outside of that middle room. And the next is at the cafeteria, which is... Um, if you exit through the back side of the library and go through there, you can just drop down. The library will be right there. Now, the second this the second item, sorry, is the pump, and the pump can be found in the warden's room. So it's not this first briefcase. I just wanted to give a little uh, landmark of where it was. So this is where the uh, warden's room is, and you have to turn on the power to open that door to get it. So what you want to do is. Uh, Kill yourself to get into afterlife, jump into this little uh, crevasse up here, uh, work your way through here, zap that power, and you should be good. Turn into your normal form, revive yourself, and walk in, and the part should be, the pump should be over there on the right side, or if you venture a little into the warden's room, it should be near the fireplace that's boarded up. Now for the third item, which uh, it's like a vial of goo. I love goo. Uh, you have to uh, work your way to the third floor. So go up here. There's other. There's another way to do it through the cafeteria. Like you can get to the infirmary like that. But I use this way, and you have to enough to open that door. When you do, you turn right. You make another right. You go through this little hallway, and you find the piece here. The other way is to make a left instead of a right, and the piece can be sitting on top of this table or tableau in français. <laughs> and now to uh, build it and upgrade your blunder gat. First, you gotta get the blunder gat from uh, the uh, random box, which might take a little while, or you can uh, get it from doing the Easter egg. Now, once you do that, you well, once you have all three parts that you just saw, which can be in any of the locations, so make sure to check all of them if you can't find them. You get your blunder gat, you build it on this table, and then you put your blunder gat in, and you get this cool infused acid gat. Now the acid gat is really cool. I'm gonna have the video up here at the end, which uh, will show a bit more about the acid gat and uh, it's pack a punched and what it does. But uh, in summary, here it looks really cool. First off, really cool design. Second off, uh, not pack a punched. When you shoot at zombies, it sticks to them. This one ended. It explodes after a certain period of time and it makes other zombies run to that one that's stuck with the goo. Um, this one explodes a bit more often than, or a bit earlier than the pack a punch one, and the pack a punch is something you definitely want to do, and you can see right here at the end. And the pack a punch has a nice, cool wolf design on it. And look at that, it's so powerful, even at around 30. It's just incredibly powerful. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, it really helps me out. And uh, subscribe, favorite, all that good stuff. Uh, check out my related videos at the end. You have a great day. Peace out, guys.